Choice voting is a form of proportional representation with a history of success in nations like the United States, Australia, India, and Ireland. In fact, it's used to select the Oscar nominees. Choice voting is based on treating every vote and every voice with equal respect. Nearly all voters will elect a candidate to represent their interest. Current winner-take-all elections fail to achieve that goal. Imagine an election for three seats with 31 voters choosing among six candidates. Under winner-take-all rules, each voter would have three votes to cast for three candidates. That means 16 voters could elect all three candidates with only their votes, leaving the remaining 15 voters without any representation. And if more than six candidates run and split the vote, even fewer voters might elect all three seats. Choice voting is more fair. In our example, 16 voters would elect two seats, not all three. Nearly all like-minded voters elect representatives in proportion to their share of the vote. The voters' job is simple. They each have one vote, but are able to rank candidates in order of choice. First, second, third, and so on. Voters have their vote count for their first choice, but are able to indicate their backup choices. This ensures their vote isn't wasted. Here's how you count the ballots. The goal is to make sure as many people as possible elect a top-ranked candidate. The first step is determining the victory threshold. That's the fewest number of votes that only the winning number of candidates can obtain. In our example, there are 3 seats and 31 voters. That makes the victory threshold 8 because only 3 candidates can get 8 votes. To find our 3 winners, we start by counting first choices. Here are the first round results. Chris is a popular candidate. In fact, she has twice the votes needed for election. That means she only needs half of her 16 votes to reach the victory threshold of 8. But remember, Chris's supporters have ranked their backup choices. Half of her 16 votes now can count for the candidates ranked second by her supporters. Eight of Chris's voters rank Angel as their second choice, while the other half preferred Jamie. That means they each earn four more votes. Here's where we stand after the second round of counting. Angel joins Chris as a winner with eight votes. But not everyone can be a winner. Because Tyler is in last place with just one vote, she is eliminated. Since votes aren't wasted with choice voting, the vote for Tyler goes to that voter's next choice, Alex. Here's the new tally. Now Sydney is in last place and loses. The three voters who ranked her first all have indicated Alex as their next choice. That helps Alex reach the victory threshold of eight votes. We have our three winners. Out of 31 voters, 26 had their first choice win. 30 had their first or second choice win. That's how choice voting ensures majority rule with a voice for all.